Hello ladies! Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Ashley Black's Nugget Tool. Okay, if you take a look at this here, it's got two different ends. We've got one end that's more pointed and another one that's a little flat. Okay, this is a great tool. I'm going to show you how to use this. One of the things I want to let you know is I just got done taking the dog for a walk, so my legs have been warmed up. And also before I use the Nugget, what I like to do is also blast it as well. So I've just been using the middle mini paddle and kind of blasting this area for a little bit to kind of loosen it up and get it ready for the Nugget tool because the Nugget tool is a little stronger. Also, I've been using Ashley Black's oil and I'll just go ahead and add a little more. I've got some oil on me already. Go ahead and add a little more. This oil smells so good. I love the way the oil smells. All right. I always have a towel nearby so I can wipe my hands. Now, what I'm going to do, um, looking at the two ends, we're going to use the end that's not as pointy to start off with, okay? And I like this because you can really grab this tool. Think of it like a crayon. So what I do first is I kind of go up and down in all the areas. And this is my, my problem area right there. It's gotten a lot better. <laughs> I'm so thankful for these tools. Okay, so then what happens is I can start to feel rubber bands, like very thick rubber bands. And they used to feel a lot thicker and a lot tighter. So once I find them, and you can see, let's see, I can feel, there's one right here. You can almost see jumps over it. So once I find that band, I'll take the tool and just poke and wiggle try to break up that fascia, because that just means it's a tight fascia band right there that just really needs to be broken up. And then I use a crayon math method over it. And if you haven't done the nugget tool, one of the other things I'll also mention is make sure that you've been blasting for at least three or four months. Give, your chance, to give yourself a chance to get used to the actual tools before you start using the nugget tool. But you can see, it's kind of, this one's a bad one. <laughs> Poke and wiggle right on that band and then blast it out with the tool. I also have one I know down here somewhere. You'll start to know where they are. And when I find them right here, it just kind of bumps over it. So poke and wiggle, poke and wiggle, poke and wiggle. I'm just poking it, just like that. Poke and wiggle. And then I blast the area out, okay? Then I go back with the pointier end. And I'll do the same thing. Just kind of crayon method where I need it the most. And then feel for that rubber band. And see, I, that's a big rubber band there. <laughs> big piece of fascia that needs a lot of breaking up. So, and I've been working on it for a while, so it's good. Poke and wiggle and do the same thing. Use the crayon method afterwards. And that's how I work on some of these rough areas where I've got those indentations. And I've got some great pictures. I've gotten some great results. And I was glad I took before pictures <laughs> because I didn't want to. And I didn't take the best before pictures, but I took some before pictures. So anyways, that is how I use Ashley Black's Nugget Tool. One other thing I like to do after I'm done is just make sure I go back and I'm gonna blast over it again with the mini paddle or the face blaster just to kind of loosen up what I've blasted already with using the nugget. So y'all have a great day and talk to you later. Bye-bye.